Hey everyone, it's Mikkel Thorpe from expatmoney.com here. And in today's video, we will look at the top nine countries with little or no tax. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to get the best info from the expat world every single week. If one thing in life is certain, it is paying taxes. Everything from shopping at the grocery store to buying or selling a house and your salary may involve a mandatory contribution to the tax authority. <coughs> Theft. Uh, in many developed countries, the later may be over 40%. Fortunately, all nations are not created equal, and some allow you to reduce your tax liabilities significantly or even better, legally reduce them to zero. Now, you are probably wondering, how can the government provide basic services like infrastructure, education, public safety services, and the such without taxes? The short answer is through other revenue streams. For example, natural resources extraction alone is enough to fund many expenditures of the Gulf states, such as the UAE or Bahrain. And as such, their citizens often pay little, if any, income taxes. And island nations like St. Kitts and Nevis and Cayman Islands make do with tourism and their financial sector earnings. However, living in a country with territorial tax systems can also have its benefits. Namely, foreign sourced income is not taxed. As such, the list below is a mix of stable, low tax jurisdictions with a decent quality of life and offers residency through investment. All right, the first country on our list is the wonderful South American country that I recently visited that has become a personal favorite of mine, the nation of Uruguay. Sandwiched between Argentina and Brazil, Uruguay is one of the smallest countries in South America. However, don't let the small size fool you, as it is one of the most stable and developed countries in the Americas, offering a high standard of living and world-class healthcare. Uruguay has made a name for itself in terms of tax reduction strategies. Obtaining residency means no tax on foreign sourced income for 10 years, plus the year you arrive, so basically 11 years. And there are options to reduce it past that by investing in certain industries. Next up, we move on to the Central American nation of Nicaragua. Nicaragua may not offer all of the amenities of Costa Rica or Panama, but it makes up for it in terms of affordability and safety. Unsurprisingly, Nicaragua has been consistently ranked as one of the best countries for retirees in the last few years. Nicaragua is not a tax haven, but the country offers residents several means for reducing tax liabilities. There are no taxes on foreign sourced income and additional tax breaks for investing in the tourism industry, and hospitality industries can also bring it down. For the third country on our list, with little or no taxes, we head back to South America to look at Ecuador. Ecuador is another country that has been gaining a lot of popularity in expat circles in the recent years and is often compared to Costa Rica. It is one of the most affordable options on our list with a couple living comfortably on $2,000 US a month. While Ecuador may not top the ranks on safety, it has quite a few things going for it. For starters, foreign sourced income is not taxed. In addition, it is one of the easiest countries when it comes to obtaining residency. Investing only $45,000 US dollars in real estate or getting a certified deposit that pays 8 to 10% annual interest opens the door to temporary residency with the ability to obtain citizenship after five years. The next country on the list of popular tourist destinations is Costa Rica. Known for its beautiful beaches, Costa Rica has long been regarded as a tropical paradise. In addition, it is one of the safest and most stable countries in Latin America with affordable health care and high standards of living. Unsurprisingly, it is one of the most popular destinations for nature lovers, expats, and retirees alike. Costa Rica is not a tax haven, and it's more expensive than other countries in the region. However, living there can have benefits, such as no taxes on foreign-sourced income and several options for obtaining residency and eventually citizenship. The fifth country on our list is the country I currently call home, Panama. Like its neighbor to the north, Costa Rica, Panama is a popular expat destination. In addition, it is one of the most important financial hubs in the Americas, with the country having a high standard of living. 
Often referred to as the Switzerland of the Americas, Panama offers several asset protection strategies and is known for banking secrecy laws and ease of forming a company. Panama also offers several investment options and pensionado visa options, with the added benefit of foreign sourced income being tax exempt. For the next country on our list, we head to the other side of the world and look at Bahrain. It is probably not the first country you would think of when discussing low taxes. However, this small Gulf state manages its earnings just from the oil sector, and it's doing just fine. As such, Bahrain has been able to build world-class infrastructure and provide high standard of living without levying income taxes on its citizens. In other words, no income or wealth tax and no taxes on capital gains. In addition, Bahrain is regarded as one of the more open Muslim countries in the region and hosts a sizable expat population. Obtaining a residency is fairly easy and the country offers several golden visa options and it is worth a look for anyone interested in living in the region. We are now at the top three and we are going to look at another Middle Eastern nation, the United Arab Emirates or UAE for short. The UAE is certainly not cheap, but it makes up for it in terms of safety, excellent living standards and world-class infrastructure. In addition, it has one of the freest economies in the world, and it is regarded as being one of the most open and tolerant Muslim countries out there. Thanks to a vibrant petroleum and financial sector, residents of the UAE do not pay income taxes. In addition, residency can be obtained by purchasing $204,000 worth of real estate. So saying all of that, you can probably understand why I decided to call the UAE home for over eight years. Now we move on to the runner-up on our list, the Caribbean island of St. Keats and Nevis. Despite being one of the smallest nations in the world, these Thailand Caribbean islands have a lot to offer. Aside from picturesque landscape and beautiful beaches covered in black volcanic sand, St. Keats and Nevis are the perfect plan B for tax mitigation strategies. Why St. Keats and Nevis? Well, there are some notable tax benefits, such as no income, wealth, or inheritance tax, and that might be enough for some, but it's worth mentioning they also have some of the most affordable citizenship by investment programs in the world. This can be achieved by donating $150,000 US dollars to the Sustainable Growth Fund or investing in a government-approved real estate project. Not only that, St. Keats and Nevis has one of the strongest passports in the Caribbean with visa-free access to 157 countries worldwide, including the UK, Hong Kong, and the Schengen Zone. All right, we have now arrived at the top of the list. The number one country with little or no taxes is the Cayman Islands. When thinking about a tropical paradise, chances are the Cayman Islands come to mind. Aside from their beautiful beaches, this is one of the lowest tax jurisdictions in the world, and residents do not pay income, property, or capital gains tax. Not only that, the Cayman Islands offers an excellent quality of life, good health care, and several residency by investment options. The only downside to the Caymans are the high cost of living and the minimum investment of at least 600,000 US dollars for your golden visa. There are many options for countries to live paying low taxes. Many of these countries have residency programs, retirement programs, and even digital nomad visas. And among these options, surely one will fit what you are looking for. It is important to note that tax rates and regulations can vary depending on individual circumstances, and the expat money team is here to help you with any and all of your questions. If relocating to any one of these countries interests you and you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me on getting out of your home country or setting up a plan B location, then read the important letter that is linked in the description of this video to fill in an application to be a private client of mine. My fees are not cheap. However, I can assure you that when you work with a professional firm like ours, the results will be worth it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to this channel. And while you're at it, make sure to bookmark expatmoney.com, which is where you can reach out to my team and I with assistance for the countries that we just discussed today.